Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions, and that is, can you engrave metals? Without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, here we are on my screen, and this is a table that I've uh, taken from the Ninja Seller and is related to my uh, current laser module which is the 40 watt dual laser uh, version so on this table you can basically see uh, what kind of materials also the thicknesses and whether you can mark engrave or cut them so uh, to answer your question uh, first of all let's make the let me uh, differentiate between engraving and marking so if the question is explicitly whether you can engrave um, uh, metals, so that's not, that's not possible. You cannot engrave metals with such a small laser engraving and cutting machine and with the diode uh, laser technology, okay? So for that you will need a more professional type of laser like fiber or CO2 laser type. So. What you can do, however, and that's what I guess all the question is about, you can mark. So the major difference between marking and engraving is actually how deep the engraver or the laser goes into the material. So in, when you perform marking, you are basically etching the surface. You're basically removing a very very small layer uh, from the surface okay and you will barely feel it with your finger while engraving is going deeper into the material so that's why I'm saying that you cannot engrave metals now um, if you go on the bottom of this table over here the manufacturer says that this model the NJA 40640 which is the 40 watt dual laser module uh, is able to mark onto anodized aluminum brushed stainless steel as well as mirrored uh, stainless steel is not able to mark or engrave gold okay so now i have performed a bunch of uh, tests using um, some household stuff and tools so that you can basically compare the materials without getting uh, too technical into the different materials and so I was able to uh, basically test uh, whether you can or you cannot uh, mark those materials as per manufacturer uh, data sheet all right so let's start to see all the tests
All right, guys, as you've seen from my demonstration, we were pretty much able to mark all of the metals as per uh, manufacturer specification. Uh, the only one that I'm not happy with is the anodized aluminum. Uh, it was barely visible. I had to try this a bunch of times. So basically then I ended up making multiple passes. Uh, but other than that, I mean, uh, it's still pre pretty remarkable for a small uh, uh, LED laser technology. Um, the other thing that I would like to just give you some recommendation on is if you're in intending to mark some uh, stainless steel. So uh, when you mark the stainless steel, basically what you're doing, you are taking away a very the, the very small layer that makes the steel as a stainless steel, which is made out of uh, um, cr um, chrome. So uh, the thing with that is that um, basically having this layer of chrome makes the steel unattackable from the oxygen that mean that means that uh, basically the steel cannot oxidize or rust in other terms uh, so when you mark with the laser engraver you're basically taking this layer off so you should expect uh, your tools or your kitchen uh, wear to basically start oxidizing rusting over time so you wanna think twice before to actually mark stainless steel other than that I mean it's uh, perfectly doable and it actually did a brilliant job especially on the mirror finished stainless steel all right and that's pretty much all for today I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it helpful if you have any comment leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now